Hello students in this video we are going to solve the textbook exercise for chapter number 7 the chapter name is weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate class 7 subject science and cert in the previous videos of this chapter we had seen what is weather what are the different elements of the weather then after what is climate of any place and what is the adaptations or the what are the features we are finding in the animals to adapt the climate of that place of or their habitat so now let we start the exercise textbook exercise for this chapter the first question in that is name the elements that determine the weather of a place so temperature humidity rainfall wind speed air pressure etc are the elements of the weather and the weather of a place can be determined using these elements by these elements we can determine or we can define weather of any place so these are the elements of the weather next one second number when are maximum and minimum temperatures likely to occur during the day so the maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in the afternoon in the afternoon the temperature is maximum for that day and while the minimum temperature occurs generally in the early morning next third number fill in the blanks in that first one the average weather take an hour a long time is called blank so it is known as the climate of the place for a longer time the weather condition of any place is known as its climate or climatic condition next is the place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is high throughout the year so the climate of that place will be blank and blank so such kind of place has the climate of hot because the temperature is high and dry because the rainfall or that place is less so the climate is hot and dry next one third number the two regions of the earth with extreme or you can say difficult climatic conditions are blank and blank so harsh or you can say hard climatic conditions are there on the tropical region and on the polar region so here the answer is tropical region and polar region Next question number four. Indicate the type of climate of the following areas. In that Jammu and Kashmir, Kerala, Rajasthan, and North East India is given to you. So the first one is Jammu and Kashmir. So in that Jammu and Kashmir, the climate is moderately hot and wet climate of the for the part of the year. and extremely cold in the winter in winter the climate is very cold and the rest of the part of the year the climate is normally hot and wet next one is kerala so very hot and wet as it is the coastal area so the climatic condition is very hot and wet next is rajasthan so the climatic condition is hot and dry because the temperature is high during the most part of the year and in the winter which last only for few months the winter last only for few months the temperature is quite low and this region receives very little rainfall so that's why the climate is dry also next d is north east india so wet because the north east india receives rain for a major part of the year so that's why the climate is wet so this is the climatic conditions for the different parts of the india next fifth number which of the two changes frequently weather or climate Where, from this weather and climate which one is changes frequently so the answer is weather weather changes frequently as we had seen that the two days weather condition is different from each other then week to week it also changes so it changes we can say frequently but the climatic condition of any place is for the many years or it is derived from the many years record so it will not change frequently so here your answer is weather 
Next six number following are some of the characteristics of animals and for each characteristics indicate whether it is adaptation for tropical rainforest or polar region. So do you think that some of these characteristics can be adapted for both regions? We have to classify the characteristics according to the animals which are living in the tropical rainforest and polar regions. The characteristics are given to you that is diets heavy on fruits that means dependent on fruits need to migrate sticky pads on feet wide and large paws strong tails then after white fur loud voice layer of fat under skin bright colors long and large beak so here the answer is given to you the animals which are living in the tropical rainforest they adopted this one features or characteristics in that first one is diet heavy on fruits that means they are dependent mainly on the fruits then after loud voice is there as we had seen the population of animals and plants are more in the tropical rainforest so they need loud voice so their voice is loud next one is sticky pets on feet that we had seen that uh, to climb on the trees such kind of animals has the sticky pads on the feet then after bright colors they have strong tails and long and large beaks this kind of animals have next one polar region so the animals living in the polar region has these kind of characteristics like white fur need to migrate layer of fat under the skin and the white and large paws so these are the characteristics of the animals who are living in the polar region and i think that different characteristics can be adapted for the different regions for the different region or for the particular region the characteristic is different so any characteristic cannot be same for the animals who are living in the tropical region and in the polar region next one seventh number the tropical rainforest has a large population of animals explain why it is so so the in the tropical rainforest as we had seen that days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year and the temperature of this region varies from 15 degrees celsius to 40 degrees celsius that means that much not harsh and this region gets plenty or you can say enough rainfall because of continuous warmth and rain this region supports wide variety of animals and plants these are the suitable for many plants and animals and the climatic condition in the rainforest are highly suitable for supporting an enormous or large number and a variety of animals so that is why the tropical rainforest has a large population of animals so this is the reason why the, in the tropical rainforest the number of animals are more as compared to the polar regions. Next eight number explain with an example why we find animals of certain kind living in particular climatic conditions. Why some animals are living in particular climatic conditions. So animals are adapted to the condition in which they are live. And this adaptation are the just because of the long process of evolution. What is evolution that we had studied in the chapter? It would be difficult for them to survive if they are more region having different climatic condition than from their habitat. If they are moving from one place to another place from their habitat to another region then it is very difficult for them to survive in such kind of places. So, here some of the examples are given to you like a polar bear has a thick layer of fat under the skin which acts as a heat insulator. So it protects the bear from extreme or very hot cold climate of polar region and the polar bear cannot survive if it is moved to the hot and dry desert condition. It is a work as the this form is work as the heat insulator so this because of this adaptation, polar bear cannot survive in the hot and dry desert region. The next example is, monkeys have long tails for grasping branches adapted to live in the tropical rainforest. Monkeys are ad adapted their features like long tail to grasp the branches of the tree to survive in the tropical rainforest and if it will 
trans it will went into the polar region then it cannot survive in the polar region so one particular climatic condition is adapted by the animals and they cannot survive if they will move to other region from their habitat next one ninth number how do elephants living in the tropical rainforest adapt itself what are the features or what are the adaptations are there in the elephant so it was it has adapted to the conditions of rainforest in many remarkable ways elephants have many characteristics or you can see many adaptations are there in elephant uh, according to the tropical rainforest it uses its trunk as the nose because of which it has a strong sense of smell it the trunk gives him gives it a strong sense of smell then after the trunk is also used by it for picking up food and moreover its trunks are modified teeth tusk it its tusk are the modified teeth and they are sharp enough that this can even tear the bark of trees that elephants love to eat so the elephant is able to handle the competition for food rather well so they can compete with the other animals for the food and large ears of this elephant help it to hear even very soft sound because of the large ears they can even hear the soft or very low sounds and they also help the elephants to keep themselves in the hot and humid climatic conditions of rainforest so these are the adaptations are there in the elephant to survive in the tropical rainforest next so here next question is given 10 number a carnivore with stripes on its body moves very fast while catching its prey it is likely to be found in the options are polar regions deserts oceans and tropical rainforest so this kind of animals are found in the tropical rainforest as the here it is given to you they are moving very fast so they are they must be live in the tropical rainforest so here your answer is tropical rainforest next 11th number which features adapt polar bears to live in extremely cold climate the options are given to you white fur fat below skin keen sense of smell option b is thin skin large eyes a white fur next is a long tail strong claws white large paws and last option is white body paws for swimming and gills for respiration so they don't have gills here our answer is first one they have white fur fat below the skin and keen sense of smell that means strong sense of smell so these are the adaptation or features th that one adapted by the polar bear to live in extremely cold climate next 12 number 